So in Metro 2033, it's some 20 years after a nuclear blast annihilates uh, the Earth's surface and everybody in Moscow is forced into the Metro tunnel system. And Metro Last Light takes place one year after Metro 2033, so it's 2034. And after you have wiped out the Dark Ones in Metro 2033, spoiler alert, uh, it is your destiny to save humanity once again. We want to show that this world is dynamic, so we are fleshing out uh, in further detail some of the various areas of the subway system that you would encounter that you didn't get to see in 2033. So uh, we didn't really change any gameplay according to that, I would say, but we're just giving the player a little bit more freedom to explore than you did in the previous game. W with the entire team, it's, it's a big desire of ours to go HUDless. I think that really, you know, is the final step in immersing you into this world. And, you know, we're really looking at this from the perspective of how can we strip everything back and make the feel, the player feel like, you know, they're completely immersed in the atmosphere. Uh, it's not to say that we're going to ship the game entirely HUDless. Uh, we're tweaking that right now, but we just want to take a minimalist approach while making sure that everything that is pertinent to the game is communicated to the player effectively. There are various means to communicate to the player without just a HUD staring at you in the screen uh, the entire time. So there are audio and visual cues when uh, you shoot one of your enemies. Sometimes it might that enemy might have heavy armor and we'll give you an audio cue such as a pinging sound so that you know that you're hitting armor and not hitting flesh or vice versa. And with our weapons, you'll notice and remember in Metro 2033, uh, some of the ammunition clips, you could see each bullet uh, emptying as you fired round after round. That's another unique way to look at your bullet count. We love our Metro 2033 fan base. It's, it's a community that is very critical, but at the same time, they loved Metro 2033, and we can't forget that they're the absolute reason why that there is a Metro Last Light in production. Uh, so we did listen to all of the feedback. I mean, there were some issues with the stealth, our enemy AI. Uh, sometimes the weapons didn't feel quite right. Uh, the ammunition as currency wasn't clearly explained to everyone. Uh, that, and then some, has all been taken into account and, you know, we're going down line by line and addressing it and making sure that uh, when Metro Last Light does ship, it is not considered a flawed masterpiece.